Hi friends, welcome to Penhouse Tour 10. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Armel Valety 67T. And here, this video is specifically taken to uh, give all clear insights on the pens because just with the uh, photos, you can't understand full details about the pen. And here, this is a, a brown color cap transparent body fountain pen and an eyedropper model one. And here, which uh, this trim set is in silver color and a round ring on the cap, which is also in silver. And there is a black color uh, plastic finish on the bottom of this um, fountain pen. And here, this is a thread type mechanism. And here, this is the MB nib with uh, a fine tipped one. And for this pad, you can refer our site. Uh, you can swap with the nibs as you like since we have uh, MB nibs in many brands and many uh, shades like uh, full golden dual tone and silver and uh, in fine medium also. And for that you can go to our site and click pen spares and go to nibs and then you can use a filter and make a query on what you require. And here this is a, a very thin grip portion and let me measure the diameter of this. Yeah, this is 8.2 mm and the body is 11.6 mm and the length of this pen without cap is 118.2 mm and with cap it is 133.3 mm and coming back to the weight of this this is totally just 12 grams and this is completely very well aesthetic fountain pen Here, since the holding area diameter is a smaller one, this pen is more suitable for little fingers or uh, for little children. And also, the reservoir capacity is more. You can fill more than uh, 2 or 3 ml of inks in this. And here, there is a breather hole in this cap. I think you can find. Yeah. And this, this is which prevents the ink from blogging and it maintains a balanced atmospheric pressure so that the ink does not leak or burp ink through the nibs and also please note this is a transparent body one and for that please oh, don't use primary color inks so that it will create a strain on the wall of the pen and on pen maintenance please wash the pen regularly that is twice a month because all the dye based ink will precipitate on longer usage so it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so it will get a scratchy writing and then sign and slowly the uh, ink will dry quickly then you may have to uh, wash the pens uh, then you have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out and i have this may you have experience doing this and uh, the reason is the blockage in the feeder scrub so to clean the deposits and dirts please remove the feeder and the nibs separately by holding and um, twist uh, holding together and twist and pull this out so this is a simple uh, way to pull this out and here there is a tube and this will uh, this is what which will allow the inks uh, uniformly to the nib portion till the nib portion and this is so easy to fix this back yes and yeah the yeah this is a simple two minutes process then uh, if after removing flush the feeder with the help of a toothbrush or clean it well with the soap water or in tap water if you are soaking this in soap water then allow it for an hour and brush and clean and 
in the ink bottle itself you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water so uh, it is clear unless otherwise we have good cleaning and maintenance the full uh, the flow will be affected and again on maintenance all the threads are turned to worn out so to increase the life of the threads please apply silicone grease or vaseline uh, every time when you are opening and closing the grip area during the ink fill and also whenever uh, you fill the ink fill below the inner threads so if you fill in excess uh, it will give a, a leakage path will be created and you will spoil your hands and also few nibs are need to be fine tuned because during the manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so gently push the tines like this up and down yeah while you're doing this please make sure the tines should be parallel if not you will get a scratchy writing and after doing this this uh, a space is created between the tines and uh, this will allow a good flow of ink and in turn we will get a smooth writing and whenever we dispatch the pen to our customer we do this and we check all these uh, before dispatching and for today's writing i'm using our penthouse project color ink this is absolutely a smooth fine writing the writing is so good so uniform and if you have any query about this pen you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to our mobile number thanks for watching this video thank you